Hi, I'm Heidi. Hi, I'm Nell. We're one to one diet consultants, and this week we are going to talk about the steps, how you can use them to your advantage, and why you should consider stepping up rather than giving up. Because at this time of the year, we have a lot of things going on, a lot of events coming up, and it's very easy just to think, ah, I won't do the plan today. Yeah, I think or people struggle just with the, the seasonal change. Yeah. Just the, just the shift from summer, there's a brief little autumn. We seem to have uh, down here in the southeast been plunged into full blown winter in the last week. Um, yeah. Because of those little hand warmers on. A <laughs> cup, cup of tea. Um, it is cold. It is as the, as the nights draw in, uh, our diet changes. It changes every year anyway. And where we were using fruity shakes and, and bars, it, that might not be tenable right now. So we wanted to talk about being realistic and making a plan for where you actually find yourself now rather than where you'd ideally like to be, which we've always, you know, we always feel like that and putting undue pressure on yourself to do uh, the diet or the one-to-one -one plan on the lowest steps because it doesn't have to be like that, does it? No, and you can lose weight on the higher steps. You will still be in a calorie deficit and you can socialise and things like that should you wish to. So whether you decide to step up just for an event, so you've got a family event or a wedding or a Christmas party and you think, actually, I need to do step three or four to cope with that. Or yeah, one of the, one of the favourite things that I like to, I, I, it was to learn to play the steps. With, a, yeah. with the help of your consultant, you can, once you understand the steps, because a lot of people that you might have found this video by Googling the one-to-one the -one diet, think, oh, I have to start on step zero or step 1A and then work my way up. That's very common um, misconception when I get inquiries from people. And actually, it's about working with a consultant, um, Heidi or me, to, to find the right step for you. And actually, that step might fall between the steps even, but with a really good consultant, we can work out what's actually going to be sustainable and manageable and realistic for you or stickable to as I like yes to say. but I recently blogged um if any of you follow me on Instagram a little bit about my own weight loss uh because we have got convention coming up uh, very soon and I wanted to fit into my dress that I bought in the sales the year before the January sales 2020 um uh, confidently bought it in a size 10 well now I'm a size sort of a size 11 and a half um but uh, but but I lost a lot of weight very quickly I lost a stone um doing step 1a and then stepped up to step two and since then I've been playing the steps and I've been losing about a pound and a half a week and I've been you know once that initial whoosh was gone and that confidence was there I'm an example of doing exactly this. So I've been on about step three, high protein, low carb, working with my consultant, you know, looking for that practical support. Um, and that's exactly what I've done. Now, that's not to say that I couldn't go back, but for all the same reasons that Heidi just mentioned, socialising, autumn, winter, not needing to treat it like a race. You yeah. know, wanting to lose weight whilst integrating food for all of those reasons, the higher steps or the middle steps are just amazing. You get yes, all the benefits of meal replacement, don't you? Yes, exactly. But you still get meal replacements in there. You're getting your vitamins and minerals from them. You can use them because they're nice and easy. They're a grab well, and go. That's why I always found conventional diets didn't work for me. Yeah. And, you know, people roll their eyes and go, oh, well, that's because you didn't do. Them. No, I hold my hands up. I didn't do them properly because I was hungry and I was deprived and I was over restricting for years. And I yeah. didn't get my nutrients, my vitamins, my minerals and the efficiency of using meal replacements. If you use two a day to do that means that your body is so much more reassured because it's getting what it actually needs um, yes and then it can work efficiently all the things you would like it to do like fat loss like fat loss <laughs> exactly and, and once you it, it's that sort of you know that that very on-trend phrase of that lived experience it's all very well watching a youtube video and talking you know and it's hearing us talk about it but it's true and you should try it if you want to believe it. <laughs> yes, it's almost like when you're on the lower steps, it's like, oh my God, I'm not going to lose any weight if I move up. It's just not true. Move up a step and, and find out, you know, prove and, to yourself that it does yeah, work. Experienced consultants, what Heidi and I do is spend most of our time trying to convince people to eat more. Yes. Eat more, to burn more, <laughs> to use more, to, you know, to find that ultimate synergy between diet and exercise and movement and wanting to move your body more because it's easier, because you've lost weight. And that's not to say that we don't think that that initial, you know, that, that when we first meet people, that very hard reset button. A lot yeah. of people that come to us for the meal replacements. That's their principal reason for approaching us. And that's what they want. But actually learning what, what Heidi was describing is learn to, learning to use the steps on those odd days. 
like you said, with yes. social things coming up, that's really clever. Um, you do need to lean into the support that's on offer. Yeah, you, you do. might need to look over the menu with your with your consultant, or you might need a little bit of extra reassurance on the day that one day is not going to blow your diet. That is never one one day is it is never what what ruins people's weight loss journey. It's the day after when they don't get back on plan. Yes, it's throwing it yourself realistic. headlong into the bucket bucket, as we like to say. <laughs> <laughs> switch but we've got um, ne we next to that flip it switch and it's yeah. and the first time a consultant says well just step up you don't really know what it means it's very sort of you know like enigmatic what are you talking about step up what we mean is lower the number of meal replacements to make room for more sensible choices it yes. doesn't mean flip the switch have a no. couple of meal replacements and eat whatever you want it doesn't mean another really common misconception and do two products and a meal you won't get the very best losses on plan. Um, you, you can't just sort of you know, take out a meal replacement because that's 200 calories and stick in a Mars bar because that's 200 calories. It doesn't work that so way. Throw you to the vitamins and minerals and the need, you know, because not all calories are created equal and we no. don't want to turn you into a calorie ca crazy calorie counter. We want to focus more on macros. So keeping out the refined carbohydrates and the sugars and the, you know, the stuff that burns energy wise really bright and really fast. Um, you know, we still want you going out for dinner and choosing the, you know, the, the fancy bottle of sparkly water and the lean protein and the veggies and you know skipping the pudding but but what we what we mean is you don't have to hide in the wardrobe in yes. order to you know to, to stay on plan and, and can still go well. outside and socialize yeah, we're not with your aiming friends to, yeah we're not aiming to just hide away and then emerge as a beautiful size 12 yes. by the end of this process although that does sound quite interesting <laughs> that's the thing and you know you can step up for the day but like now I said you do have to liaise with your consultant you have to not just make a plan for that day if you're going to step up you have to make a plan for the following days to get back to whatever step you have been following or whatever step you would like to follow after that event and, and that is almost learn, as crucial yeah and and what we're not what we're not talking about is skipping meal replacements that thing no. of, oh well I just didn't use all my meal replacements before but I don't seem to have lost no it, it, you won't lose you know that's the thing we also have to be on hand to manage expectations depending yes. on what the event is depending on what you know actually yes you can use the steps like that but if they're coming thick and fast if you've got work dues and catch-up dues and, and it's and, just uh, best just to step delayed up for birthday a things, time. And then you're going straight yeah. into Christmas. if this is coming thick and fast then talk to one of us about stepping up permanently yeah. and having a more reliable consistency because that's the I mean that is the boring cornerstone of dieting and the reason that I never made any other diet work and the reason that I have this conversation with all of my slimmers when I first meet them is because we couldn't stick to it consistently anybody yes. can do anything for a week um but it's doing it week after week after week after week to lose the amount of weight that you really want to lose um and putting the effort in so the lower steps are, are fantastic but it, it it sort of buys you out of a lot of responsibility doesn't it yeah. I'm just gonna yeah. have my replacements and crack on drink loads of water yeah. great yeah you don't um, have to think about it quite as much no but at this time of year for all the reasons that we've said it might be sensible to talk to, to us about going up a step and taking you know every time you flex you have to take a little bit more of a responsibility but that's what yeah. I've been doing lately and actually it's incredibly empowering because you can lose weight and have food in your life and it's not just off plan or on plan <laughs> and, and unlike other diets you might have tried where you felt that overwhelming responsibility you're not on your own you've got us we're here to help you with recipes and tips and help you look at the easiest way that you can step up and you can start incorporating conventional food in higher yeah, amounts and, that, and, and all of those things. Out. But when you work with us, we're not banging on about our own experience all the time because this is your journey. Yeah. We are using our, our own journey and those of our other slimmers over the years to 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 know what works to use that to lean into the expertise to get the very best plan for you yeah. we're just talking about our own journey this morning because it's a it's a it's oh, an yeah. easy opener it is our weirdly unique qualification yes. um, so it's not like as, a, as your consultant I will constantly be going well when that happened to me well when that you know but I can take all of that experience to inform what will work best for you and also sometimes to to talk to you about the thing that you are resisting doing no 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 no. i'm just going to stay on three products it'll be better this week i promise that's not that's a contentious relationship it's much better to to take the advice on the chin which is look you've had two weeks on the trot three weeks on the trot like this rather than beating the same drum and feeling bad about it and letting this fall into the diet trap of every other experience why don't we just loosen the reins a little bit but stick with the healthier choices boost your nutrition with a meal replacement don't worry I'll still nag you to drink that much water and blow me down 
when people lose weight, I love it. It's the most jo- job satisfaction. Yes. Ticked, isn't it? Blows their mind. But that's me recently. That's happened to me as well. I sort of made myself step up. I'm fitting into my convention dress. I'm eating food. I'm back where I want to be. Amazing. I mean, it's happened Never to me this me. last week. I followed step three. Um, I'm also going to fit into a lovely convention dress. And I lost a couple of pounds, felt great. And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember. I could just step up. <laughs> like sometimes we have to remind ourselves as well. But also, I think it's that, you know, we fall into that trap sometimes of thinking that less is more, less is quicker. Actually, no, the easiest, the quickest step is the one that's easiest to stick to right now. And quite often, sometimes, especially this time of year when we've got lots of things coming up or it's a bit harder in the colder months, actually step three is a really good option and it feels easy. And we sometimes are suspicious because it feels quite easy. And we're like, how can this surely be working? But you just got to trust the plan. And after a week on it, you will see that the magic works on any of the steps. And that is why you can choose the one that's going to suit you the best right now. That's that's the beauty of it, isn't it, really? Yeah. And after a long, hard winter, who knows? You might have weeks and weeks of soul source ahead of you if you have, you know, if you have a a huge amount of weight to lose, a bit, a, a longer weight loss journey. That's absolutely fine. You can go up them, you can go down them, you can change, you know, you change your mind. We're just looking for the part of that step staircase yeah. that is going to work consistently. Exactly. Just think of yourself like Tom Hanks in Big going up and down that keyboard just whenever you like, like just to support you and feel hey, good, tune. play your merry yeah. tune and feel nobody, great. <laughs> nobody's tune is the same as anybody else's. So, exactly. You know, don't, don't, don't worry about the tune that anybody else is playing. Work with a good consultant who knows those steps inside out um, and who will make the right plan for you and who will actually listen to your lifestyle and what you're doing yes. and those contraindications and work with what, you, what you're what you actually doing. Because sometimes we our ambition out marches what we're actually capable of doing right now and that's fine i'd rather be losing two pounds a week every week than not hearing from you and then busting back like some kind of hero to lose the same amount of weight in a week on step 1a as you would have done if you just stuck to it for the last few weeks yes exactly we've all done that that's all how we it. know that's how we know. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we know you know like when we get you and we go uh-huh we know we did it <laughs> Hashtag un- unshockable. Don't worry. Exactly. You about it. We've either done it or we know someone that's done it or we've seen it done and we know how, exactly. to, how to dig ourselves out of certain, certain holes, don't we? Completely. So we hope that has reassured you, helped you, given you some ideas about things to chat through with your consultant over these next couple of months. Look at what you've got coming up um, and know that the diet and your consultant is there to support you. Me and Nell are there to support you as our slimmers. And uh, we're very much looking forward to seeing you again next week. We hope this video has been helpful. If it has, leave a comment below, uh, like and subscribe. And if you would like to get in touch with either me or Nell and become one of our slimmers, all our contact details are in the description box below. We look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye. She's good, isn't she? Thanks, Heidi. <laughs> Bye. Bye.